Hello, people of the internet. I am Nick from Motor City Magic, and today I am going to show you my top five hated decks of the April 2015 format. Now, these are decks that I have faced a lot online, a lot in real life when I go to locals and shit, and these are just the decks that want I want to punch them in the mouth because they're so annoying, they're so redundant, they do nothing to benefit the game, and they need to go kill themselves. So, as you can see here by the screen, my number five is uh, Gear Diaz because, well, they're just annoying. They can search shit off of armor, they can play stuff like Valor, D, Fish, and Macro because they don't give a shit about their graveyard. They've got Accelerator, which makes rank four plays like you wouldn't fucking believe. And they can play a bunch of good trap cards. They can play Fiendish Chain, they can play Dimensional Prison, they can play the Trap Tricks engine with the trap holes. <clears throat> it can also run wiretaps because the Telenites want to go die in a fire. So the Telenites are going to be here, but then I realized that I kind of like the Telenites because they're not really doing anything right now, which is the way they should be. But they should put Rota to 1 into Neb's need to get the fuck out, and then everything will be happy. That's just my personal opinion. You can go yell at some other shit about that. Uh, my number 4 is going to be Light Swords. Uh, Light Swords is a deck that I've hated for a very long time, and I especially hate them in this format because, let's just face it, JD is probably one of the best monsters to ever be printed in this fucking game. Like, let's, let's just admit it right the fuck now. 3000 Monster. Mm. Oh, man, I knew we were going. Okay, 3000 Monster. You pay 1000 and nuke the field. Which, if inlines were like, you don't give a fuck about, especially if you got Michael on board, that can just say, well, fuck yo shit in the ass. You know, you can just nuke the f and when you nuke it, you get all your stuff back and a dip load of life points. Now, the only reason people hate Judgment Dragon is because its summoning condition is easy as fuck to achieve. Putting four Light Swords in the grave should be like fucking cupcakes and dandelions to you people. Because just play Light Swords, boom, you can play JD, it's that simple. You know, and the fact that it's got Honest as a potential hand trap is, oh, so annoying. Now, I was going to put Bujins here for the fact that they're so helmet and so redundant to the game, but I hate Light Swords more because their boss monster is basically going to kill you, and at least in Bujins, if you can kill their monster, you actually have a chance of winning the fucking game. In Light Swords, it doesn't matter because they can run shit like Beckoning Light and Monster Reincarnation to get JD back to their hands, so you always have to deal with this fucker. <sighs> Fuck. Uh, number three is going to be Yosenju's. I I personally love playing this deck, but I hate going up against it because it's so fucking boring. The fact that all it is is floodgates. <sighs> it's all floodgates. It's all same monsters, and it's all about the trap lineup. It's all about the commas and the floodgates and all the other good shit. And this is this is a reason why I've teched Yosenjus up because this is good in anything but the mirror match. But the reason I hate Yosenjus right now is because they're so good. Like I should hate Necros and should Dolls and Burning Abyss and really I don't hate those decks because I can just play Gravekeepers and say fuck all of you. You know, go die in a fire. But anyway. I hate Yosenjus because they can protect themselves with L and the Counter Trap, and they can play Vanities and all these other good Floodgates, and they can also run Necro Valley too because, you know, ha ha ha, I hate Shadows too, and they can make their side deck whatever the hell they want, so. Yosenjus are number three on this list because. <laughs> Do I even have to stay to there? It's just bam, 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 punch your face, run away like a bunch of pussies. But the, like, probably the Dolce should go here because they run into the deck like bigger pussies. But your senses are hated because, you know, at least when the Medulch is in there, you don't have to worry about them. When they're in your hand, they're a con- when you know, since they're in your hand, they're a constant threat and you don't want to deal with them. Uh, my number two is going to be Dark Worlds. Now, I love Dark Worlds. This is a deck that I've loved to play since the very beginning. But let's face it, Ephra is just a fucking bitch. The fact that he can, you know, essentially monster be born and pop a card is amazing. The fact that these guys can manipulate Minecraft better than any deck in the game. They can run Eradicator, which is stupid. And they've got so many discard outlets, and you know, 
Say hello to the Thought Seas of Yu-Gi-Oh! Dragged down into the grave. Which essentially says, You wanna play Yu-Gi-Oh? Ha ha ha. You can't anymore! It, it's so dumb. This deck is so dumb. And the fact that it's so consistent, you got three draw powers in the form of Brow, three more in Upstart, three more in Drag Down, three more in Gates, and two more in dra and two more in Drag Down, with a couple of cards in your side deck that could help you draw cards, you know, like Jar of Avarice and shit. How in Lord Buddha's name do you fight these motherfuckers? Well, the answer is Soul Drain. If they flip Soul Drain on us and they you don't have your MSTs in game two, then you're fucked. Game one, you can't even grab a pop, you can basically lose. Now, another deck that could have gone here is Burning Abyss. I'm not put Dark Worlds here because unlike Burning Abyss, people can actually deal with this shit. With Dark Worlds, it's just like, you're such a fucking scrub. And you're so fucking annoying and you don't know how to play the game. Well, Burning Abyss, it's like, eh, alright, I get you. You want to play a good deck, whatever. I hate Dark Worlds. I hate playing them in this format so much. I hate playing against them. It's so redundant. And my number one most hidden deck in this format is Evil Swarms. Now, all five of these decks that I've on this list, I've played in some decency one way or another. And, you know, they're all fun decks for me to play, because I can just say to my opponent, fuck you. But that's one of the reasons they're on this list, is because they say to your opponent, fuck you. <laughs> you know, it's just, you know, let's face it. Evil Swarms are Ophion and Pandemic deck. What else am I supposed to say about it? They can run so many good traps that you just want to kill yourself. And they're... Uh, uh, oh, sorry. And they're once again masters of Mind Crush because they can Kirkion, get back your Mandragora, or Hydro. you can make Bahamut and Snatch Steal their monster, and you can still leave a card in your hand, and they can also Soul Charge and Rota and all these other good stuff. You know, I don't have a side deck here, but their side deck can run Mistake and Thunder King. Probably Banisher of the Radiance, too, because the deck is just so goddamn consistent. I, uh, you know, the fact that it just runs through and stuff. In Infection, you can just put it all back in the deck. You can go search another one if you want. Necros could have been, that would have been my number one deck is Necros, but I don't hate Necros, because I can just play Gravekeepers and say, well, you, you want to play? Fuck you. Um, with Evil Storms, it's just, why do you exist at all, you little shits? It's that simple. People hate Evil Storms because it's just Ophion, and they can make a bunch of good rank 4s, they can pop your shit, they can cowboy you for game, they can do all that other good stuff. But that was my little rant, and uh, list of the top 5 decks that I hate this format. Thank you guys for watching, leave your hated decks in the description below, or any that you think that shouldn't be on this list, or some that should be, I did say some of them in this video. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, I'll see you guys next time with a new video. Adios.